Okay, this would probably be my first real video. Um, this is the back of the Century Carbon. Uh, after hearing the complaints about belts being too tight, I found that these were actually completely loose, both of these, the adjusters for the, for the belts. Uh, what I did was I, I left them loose and I pulled back enough to where my belt sounded about like this, which gives it, you know, they're tight enough, but not too tight. They're definitely not as tight as they are with the standard uh, spring that's in there. You can see the spring right there. I, when I did that, I pulled them back, I tightened these down tight. So they're not actually relying on the spring now for tensioning. I think that spring is probably too, I mean, you can see it's buckled on both of those. And I think that spring is just way too tight. And I probably should have thrown this in landscape, but I'm sorry, you're stuck with it like this. Uh, I think the spring is too tight. It's causing problems with the belts. I've only got probably about 20 hours on this so far. Uh, the belts don't look too bad to me. I haven't looked in here too, too closely, but I don't see any fraying of the belts. Um, sorry for any vertigo that you might have gotten from just going upside down. But uh, I think that that might be part of the solution for the belt issues with the Centauri Carbon, and that is to tighten these down, get them to the you know get them to the looseness that you want. Um, these are actually available without taking the whole back off. Uh, they stick through, and you can just jam your your uh, Allen wrench in, in there and uh, get to them. So uh, that's it for me. Um, this is last barn on the left. Signing out.